In this class we see the distributive property of multiplication over addition and over subtraction. This is useful for class 6. First we see the distributive property of multiplication over addition. We take one example. We find the value of 395 multiplied with 1002 using distributive property. So first we consider one rectangle with measures 1000 and 395. So here is a rectangle with length 1000 and breadth 395. Now we are going to attach one more rectangle with the measures 395 and 2. So this gives us a big rectangle whose length is 1002 and breadth remains same as 395. So we can say that the area of the big rectangle that is 1002 multiplied with 395 is equal to the areas, the sum of the areas of two small rectangles that is 395 multiplied with 1000 and 395 multiplied with 2. So this explains the distributive property of multiplication over addition. We see the distributive property of multiplication over subtraction. For example, simplify 10 into 9 using distributive property. So first take a square of measures 10 and 10. From this, we select a rectangle with length 10 and breadth 1. Now, cut off the selected rectangle from the square. So, we are left with a rectangle with measures 10 and 9. It is clear that the area of the rectangle with 10 and 9 is equal to area of the square with measures 10 and 10 minus area of a rectangle with measures 10 and 1. This explains the distributive property of multiplication over subtraction. 